Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my winter morning routine. On the day that we filmed this, it was a rainy day, it was very cloudy, so I'm making things extra cozy by turning on the fairy lights, getting out of bed, putting on my owl slippers, and opening up the blinds and ruining Bradley's life. But once I can get him up, we make the bed, we try to do this every day, and we have a lot of extra blankets right now because it's cold out, and then I'm topping it off with my little wintry fox pillow that I love. Then I make my way into the kitchen for breakfast and I'm lighting this Merry Cookie candle from Bath and Body Works. It's my favorite kitchen candle for Christmas time. And then I'm gonna make some hot tea because it's cold. I like this blueberry tea from the Celestial Seasonings fruit sampler pack. It's all caffeine free. I don't know what about this, but it tastes like you're drinking a blueberry muffin and it's so good. And it's my only tea I really like to drink that's hot. And then this morning I made a fresh batch of my paleo banana bread muffins and I usually eat about two of them. That usually fills me up and uh, my blueberry tea and I sit down at my planner and I just plan out the day, eat my breakfast and drink my tea. Then I hop in the shower after breakfast and since it's dark I'm actually using these twinkle lights for a little bit of extra light today but then I get into the shower and I'm gonna wash my face. I've been using and loving this Murad Daily Cleansing Foam. It's pomegranate scented, it cleans really well and the foam feels so good on your face. Then I'm going to use my exfoliant. I've been using this sample of the Visanti Brighten Up. I really like it, it's got really tiny micro beads so it scrubs really well. Then for shower gel, I'm using my Bath & Body Works Winter Candy Apple. It's my favorite shower gel this time of year. Just gonna squeeze some on a loofah and scrub away. And then after I get out of the shower, I'm gonna put my favorite St. Ives lotion on. And then it's time for skincare. I'm taking my toner of choice at the moment, the Clinical Care Skin Solutions Tone Zit Toner, and putting that on a cotton round and just putting it all over my face. It helps keep my zits at bay. Then while that's drying, I'm going to brush my teeth, which you don't need to see, but there we go. Then I'm taking my spot treatment. This is the Lush Grease Lightning Tea Tree Cleanser. I just take a little bit and put it on my problem areas, which is mostly on my chin. Then moving on to my eyes, I've been using this Benefit Puff Off stuff. I don't even know what it is, but the packaging is really cute. It's a little iron, but you squeeze out the liquid and you kind of rub it under your eyes. The only thing I love about this so far is the cooling feeling of the metal tip, but other than that, I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about it. I'll let you know in an empties video or something. So I just rub in the excess and then I'm taking my simple protecting SPF 15 moisturizer. I love this stuff. I find it even moisturizing enough for the winter and it's important to wear SPF even on a rainy day. So I'm just going to apply that all over my face and neck. And then it's time to do my hair. I'm just going to take it out of this clip and run a curling iron through it and just like that movie magic it's curled I've been curling it a little bit different can you tell I'm trying to figure out if I like it but let me know what you think um, and then I'm going to take my men's degree deodorant and put that on and then douse my body in my fragrance of choice I'm using the moonlight path body splash from Bath and Body Works which I love and oh, my bra is showing a little bit then I'm taking my Ari by Ariana Grande perfume and it smells so good it's a really nice winter scent I love it so yeah, and then we're moving on to makeup. I'm clearly excited to be back in my office filming, but first I'm taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I use this every day, it's extra hydrating, just spraying that on, letting it dry. And then I'm taking my Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid in the color Shell with my Beauty Blender and just stippling that all over my face. I love this stuff, especially in the winter because it's a little bit moisturizing, taking it down the neck as well. Then I'm going in with my Naked Skin Urban Decay Weightless Concealer that I love under my eyes, down my nose and my forehead. Oops, a little bit on the lip when I was putting it on my chin. That's okay. Then I put some on my eyelids as well to act as a primer base for my eyeshadow. I'm taking a minute to apply some Rosebud Solve to my lips and then I'm taking my NYX Incredible Waterproof Concealer in Porcelain and using that as my spot concealer. I love this stuff and then I'm just gonna go back over the spots with the Beauty Blender to blend everything out. Now it is time to bronze up my face and set the concealer. I'm using my Lorac Pro Contour Palette and the Sigma Concealer Blend Kabuki F79 brush to set underneath my eyes and on my concealer. I love this brush because it's just a rounded dome shape and I've been using this palette for powders instead of my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder because that's been a little bit drying lately. So I've been using this and loving it. Then I'm taking my Marc Jacobs Bronze Brush and putting it in this light contour shade and just kind of warming up my face. I will say on camera that these shades look a a little more orange than they are in real life especially the one I'm gonna use to contour which I'm about to do now I am using the Sigma F57 emphasize contour which I like because you can kind of just stamp it in there and get off the excess product and then just place it where you want and then it's nice and dense so you can blend out the line that you made and I also love the shape of this brush for around the hairline and then after that I'm just gonna go in with my big bronzer brush and just blend everything out make sure you get down the neck as well then I'm moving on to my brows I've been using the Anastasia brow definer which I don't love as much as my brow is I'm just using it up I'm in the shade taupe 
but what I have been doing lately is outlining it with the pencil and then I take this Anastasia brow powder duo also in taupe and then fill in the center I watched Nikki Philippi do this and I was like oh that looks fun and I like it it just looks a little bit more natural not as harsh but it still looks really clean and nice and I'm blending as I go so I'm gonna do that to both eyebrows and set that with clear brow gel then for my eyes I'm using the MAC single eyeshadow in honesty with a MAC 217 brush I love the shade for just like an easy peasy all over the lid if you don't want to wear no shadow at all I just throw that on then I'm going to curl my lashes and of course go in with my covergirl clump crusher mascara my favorite mascara ever and then it is time to move on to blush and today I am using the new the bomb bomb beach blush which is an amazing like mauve nude color and I'm using this Morphe I believe it's a G7 blush brush I'll have it linked down below I'll have everything linked down below and it's just the best nude mauve matte color and then I'm going in with the bomb Mary luminizer I've fallen back in love with this and I'm using this tart brush that I got in a blush set that I'm loving and it oh it disperses so much goodness on your cheeks I love this blush I love this highlight I've I'm in a love affair with both of them I'm just putting them on the high points of my cheeks and my face down my nose um, under my brows above my brows tip of my nose and then I'm adding one more coat of mascara and after that you guys that is it that is my morning routine get ready with me thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this I hope you like this look I love you guys I will see you in a couple of days and I'll see you later bye oh, oh.